Turn me up in the headphones. What's up you guys? Chase the Dark Sage, back with another Funko Pop video. First off, I'd like to welcome all the returning viewers and all the returning subscribers to checking out my content and checking out my video. I love y'all. And also, I'd like to welcome the new viewers. If you like content like this, if you like Funko Pop reviews, Funko Pop hauls, and just Funko Pop talking about things like that, just, just things that matter about Funko Pops, go ahead and check out the channel. Go ahead, click that subscribe button. In fact, everybody who's watching this right now, please click that like button. Your boy will really appreciate it. Now, as you see, I have more and better equipment for video taking. Now, I'm still doing it on my phone, but I got better lighting, and I got this mic right here, you see? so. I'm gonna feel like a rapper every now and then, so you just got you guys just have to bear with me. But let's go ahead and talk about the main topic of this video right here. So earlier today, as I was washing clothes, I was watching Jetta Patrol's top 10 uh, exclusive Fungo Pops that came out this year, and I thought to myself, I should do the same thing. But then I remembered, I only collect anime. So I thought, let's do a top 10 anime uh, Fungo Pops that I bought this year. Now, like I said, this is a top 10 anime Pops that I bought. I don't watch a lot of anime, I just got back into watching anime, so you guys are going to have to bear with me, I don't have a lot of Attack on Titan, sorry Naruto, but you only had one pop that came out this year that was, eh, then I didn't really watch any other anime, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start off with the big pops first, so uh, right here we got Cowboy Bebop, the ba Battle of Fallen Angels, now I'm not the biggest Cowboy Bebop fan, but I do have the Blu-ray, I did watch the whole uh, series, and I think it's a pretty good show, if you're in the pull up anime this isn't it this is more of a chill laid back type of anime so i recommend to watch because it's, it's pretty cool you get to know the characters and things like that and with this scene being recreated in pop form it's just amazing the detail on this pop is just amazing you can't see it because of all the glare but just like the little sanctuary thing happening back here and then you see vicious right here uh you know gunning down my boy spike right there you know he just you know he pulled up on him on this episode and i really like this episode i should just go pick this up i think it's like nine dollars or it might not be on sale anymore it is a gamestop exclusive so go get it while you can guys now i meant to say before this is in no particular order at all i do have one super favorite one though but let's go ahead and get to the next one this is broly the six inch chase uh from galactic toys the glow on this pop is amazing guys like this pop this pop is just great. The way they capture Broly's size on here, the way his aura glows and things like that. I just love this pop. This is a pop I had to have in my collection. I do have the original regular one. And I know I did a review on that pop, guys. So go ahead and check that out, like, right here. Last up for the big pops, guys. I know this is kind of, like, cheating and all, but I had to get this two-pack. The failed fusion two-pack. This is uh, from Dragon Ball Z. Obviously, this is when Go Goten and Trunks tried to do the fusion dance, and they both failed twice. So this is the you know results of their fusion being failed this was a box lunch exclusive i had to put in a protector because all my dragon ball z pops need to be protected at all times but i really like the fact that they got the fat one and the skinny one i like the fact that the sticker is right here and not really blocking them even though it could have been right here but i wouldn't have no problem with it but this is still a great pop this is really creative for funko honestly because i wouldn't have expected this pop to be made and i'm glad that i have it in my collection all right, guys, staying on the subject of Dragon Ball Z, let's go ahead and get into the regular 4-inch pops. This is the New York Comic Con Vegeta doing Final Flash. I did a review on this pop already, so if you want to go see that, go ahead and click. Stupid mistake, guys. All the annotations for these pops that I said that they're reviews of, they'll be in the top right of the screen if you're on mobile. Right there, if you're on mobile, of course. This Final Flash Vegeta, this was a New York Comic Con. Like I said, I did a hunt video on this as well. This pop was a great pop, I feel, for this year, especially as a Dragon Ball Z collector as myself. Yes, there's a lot of Goku and Vegeta pops, but this Vegeta pop right here, it's action pose. You guys know, if you're a returning viewer, I love action pose pops, especially when you can see his little uh, beam happening right here, and you see the little dust behind him just swirling up. This is a great pop. I recommend going to get this if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, if it's still in stores, because it is a con exclusive that was shared with a hot topic. So go ahead and get it if you see it in stores, guys. All right, so I got this recently, obviously. And you know, if you are a returning viewer, like I said, you probably already seen the review, but this is the Vegeta Over 9000 Hot Topic exclusive. Now, if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z, especially with the Ocean Dub, you know what Over 9000 means. This is one of the biggest memes in anime, probably the biggest meme in anime. This was a great scene in Dragon Ball Z when Vegeta was crushing the scouter. This pop has like a lot of detail when it comes to him breaking the scouter right there, because I would have, like I said, never expected funko to do a pop like this especially of a scene like this this is a pop that we all needed that we never asked for this is a pop that we needed but we don't deserve now i know this is a sleeper pick probably but gohan this is the gangstop exclusive funko insider club i don't know what's up with the sticker really 
But this is the go this is the Gohan that was exclusive to GameStop. If you were part of their like rewards program, you got you were able to pre-order this and get this basically at the store. But I'm pretty sure you could probably go pick it up at the store now because I think I've seen this a few times at the store. That and the Goku. This pop is from Dragon Ball Z. This is when uh Gohan was training with Piccolo while Goku was dead training with King Kai. And I just love the fact that they made this into a pop. He has a similar gi just to go just like Goku's, and he has his like sword right there. Cause you really never really see that sword ever again, but it was nice to kind of have like not really a slice of life with Gohan, but just to see him training and to see him grow up as a warrior and just a character because Dragon Ball Z, it was leading up for Gohan to be the main character, but then it was like, you know what? Goku's bigger, so let's kick Gohan out and make Goku cool again. All right, I have another sleeper pick, guys. You guys probably would have never guessed this. Kuwabara from Yu Yu Hakusho. Now, I haven't watched Yu Yu Hakusho in years, but I remember back when I was younger, I used to love the games, especially that one fighting game where you get to play like the Dark Tournament, I believe. You get to play with that big old buff guy that just looks weird. He's in Jump Force, and I have Jump Force, but I haven't really played it too much, but we're going off subject right now. Cool bar, like I said, this is a sleeper pick. I love the way that this pop is designed. I love the detail. I love that his hair is coming out. It looks a little bit like Josuke's, or rather, Josuke's hair looks like this. I don't know. I love the fact that he has his little beam sword coming out and he's just holding it and he's like in a little action type of pose. Like he looks like he's ready to swing it on somebody or someone like test him, you know what I'm saying? This character I believe was played by Chris Sabat, so I need Chris Sabat to sign this one day. This is the pop that I need to get signed. This is a great pop for the collection. I did complete the whole Yu Yu Hakusho series. I need to rewatch it, but I've been watching other shows like JoJo, Fooly Cooly, and you know, just, just other things that occupy my time. All right guys, so we are at the last three, so let me go ahead and show y'all my next three picks. Dobby, the NYCC exclusive. I just love the detail that's on this pop, especially with his little flames going around his feet and the little flame in his hands. This is a great pop, especially with the detail of how he looks from anime into pop form. And I've told y'all this in previous videos before, anime characters going into pop form, it just goes over really well. And I just love the fact that they add like some of their personality and their quirk to these characters like in pop form. Like you see the flames at the bottom of his feet because he got them fire kicks. I really just made that joke, but we're gonna skip over that. Next up, a lot of people I'm pretty sure really don't like this pop like that, but I really like it. Deku Full Cow. This is the Entertainment Earth exclusive. This also glows in the dark. I like the glow personally. It's not the best glowing pop in my collection, but I do love the glow. Just the way his static and his uh, one for all is just going around his body. You see that X over his face? It just looks great. I think that this was a great scene, especially when they was fighting Stain, him and Tenya and Todoroki, they were all fighting Stain. And this is when he used it. I love this pop. Great pop, gotta get it if you're a My Hero Academia collector. Now last, but not least, the box lunch exclusive, Weekend All Might. Like I told you before in the review for this pop, this was my favorite fight and favorite scene in My Hero Academia. I think it was in season three when he was fighting all for one. This is a great pop, especially the way his arm is like big, but his other arm is small because he's putting all his one for all in this one arm just to punch one for all, I mean all for one keep messing that up but this is such a great scene in the show guys i highly recommend this pop the glow is so great the hair glows differently than the body and i think his teeth glow or his eyes teeth and eyes glow as well this is a great pop i really love this pop i love the damage that he has to his face like it's a really great funko really outdid themselves with this pop guys like i recommend this pop wholeheartedly favorite pop of 2019 so far i am recording this in december so I mean, not really anything else is going to come out that's going to just wow me, but I really love these pops, guys. All these 10 pops show that anime is doing well in Funko form, and it's just going to keep getting better, as long as we don't keep getting metallic and chrome variants of the same pop that we already got. All right, guys, so before I go, I am, I am preparing for a giveaway for when I hit 400 subscribers. I have to thank What's Poppin' from F Pop Gang and from Instagram because she kind of hooked me up with this because I went to Box Lunch initially to get this for her, but she initially got hers online, so she said, you know what? She paid for it and she let me keep it and she said I could do it for a giveaway, guys. So first of all, let's all think what's popping. Go follow her if you aren't already. Now, let me tell you about this giveaway. <laughs> now, I told y'all this was my favorite pop of this year. Well, guess what? This could be someone else's favorite pop too. I'm giving this away once I hit 400 subscribers. I'm running a giveaway. It's gonna be on this YouTube channel primarily. I'm gonna run another giveaway of another pop on my Instagram primarily, but that will come later. Let's talk about this pop right here. Now, like I said earlier before in this video, this is my favorite pop of 2019. And this pop, it just looks amazing. And you know what? I wanna add it to someone else's collection. This is a season of giving like she told me, and it's time for me to give away to y'all. You guys have been supporting me. You guys have been liking my videos, commenting, following me on Instagram. And I just gotta show y'all some love back. I don't wanna be a Scrooge or Grinch this season, 
So I thought I'd give someone else a chance to get this pop that, you know, probably couldn't get it online or couldn't get it in store. Now this does come in a hard protector. I haven't taken this one out of the box or anything. So this is minty fresh, brand new. Guys, I will be running this giveaway at 400 subscribers. So go ahead and tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your cousins, tell your baby, you know, just tell everybody, subscribe to the boy on YouTube. That's all I'm asking. And you know what? I really appreciate that all you people have been supporting me. All you people, like I said, been liking, commenting, and sharing the videos. But all right, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Peace.